Good day everyone and welcome to Exile News, the weekly show that brings you all the important news and informations on Path of Exile. Starting the week, or very very late last week, we had the download for the new Harmony Mystery Box. And of course it's the download of the soundtrack as usual for free. Uh, this always happens every time they make a new uh, Mystery Box, of course. Just right click on the .mp3 or the .flac and save destination as, save as, whichever uh, you have. And you can freely download uh, the soundtrack, which is actually composed by Camille, who's the main composer at GGG. And, well, he's good, so, uh, I mean, it's free. Why not do it anyway? And uh, we also got the 3.17 patch notes preview. And if you're wondering, this patch is now live. So most, of, most of these, actually, I think everything is now live. There's some improvements and fixes and everything. Uh, for example, it is now possible to sell to sell items to Kirak, which I mean, why wasn't it like that before? I don't know, but um, just like Zana before, now you have Kirak and it works pretty well. Uh, obviously, you're gonna talk to Kirak a lot also because it gives you very, very interesting missions now. So, well, definitely a nice improvement there. And there's also some improvements to the Arch Nemesis, which we are gonna talk about later. Obviously, a lot of bug fixes. Also trying to bug fix Dancing Dervish, manifest Dancing Dervish skill, which I suppose has uh, AI problems more than anything else, but we'll have to see if that works. And GGG has also made a video, which is a compilation of streamers reacting to the release, the first release of the Atlas passive skill tree. And well, I mean, it's seven minutes of video, so it's longer than usual, but honestly, it's pretty funny. Some of those are kind of entertaining to see. Some are just meh. Some are actually pretty interesting. So yeah, if you haven't had the chance to check all your favorite streamers or all the streamers at all, uh, definitely give it a look. I mean, it's just seven minutes, not that much. And we have some upcoming improvements to the Arch Nemesis panel. And I gotta say, these also is already in the game so it's actually pretty good and there is this new drop down menu here and you can select the recipes that you know and it will highlight the items that you need for that recipe so that is pretty good also as, as you see here you can just check the list that you have to see uh, which which uh, which recipes need which item and which one you've already completed you can complete uh, there is no undiscovered recipes so you you do not know if you do, if you have undiscovered like two item recipe three item recipe you don't know that well i mean this interface is very very good it's nowhere near what could be i mean it could be much much better people have made excel sheets which are extremely useful for this but still it's much better than it was before so definitely a step in the right direction by ggg and i highly uh, and I highly enjoyed this thing. Definitely very nice to see that you can actually... I mean, you, you can at least select your favorite recipes, right? But you have to discover them first. And uh, one thing I would very, like, uh, very much like to see is to actually hide certain recipes so that you do not see the recipe, maybe even do not see the item themselves to make it without going through the item filters. I oh, will have to see if GGG improves on this. Uh, definitely, again, a step in the right direction. And, well, a much, much discussed thing, even though it's MTX, I'm gonna take a look at it. It's Kirax Vault Pass. And, well, the first time I saw this image, um, the memory g went back, way back. And I don't know if or how many players were actually playing back then, but when the game was first released and for the first several leagues, uh, there used to be races and race seasons where basically there were a lot of races throughout the weeks and people participating in the races um, claiming certain objectives could score points and uh, it had exactly this same bar over here and as the points went up you got uh, unique skins for unique items well basically it was yeah it was a skin it was an alternate art for several unique items the same exact way it is here so yeah this is another thing that went uh never returned and now it's come back behind a paid wall the good part is that these do not uh, obviously um give you a power 
an edge on power uh, over other players. The bad part is, again, it was something free and now it's something behind a paywall, just like how they removed um, animations basically from auras. Auras nowadays are pretty shit and they put them into MTXs. So this is the same exact thing. This probably puts another uh, nail in the coffin, maybe the final nail in the coffin for races as uh, just there's there's not going to be any more racing seasons probably uh, for a long time and well I mean to be fair races have been organized by the community for a long long time now so yeah GG is probably not planning on those uh, maybe not until PoE2 we'll have to see how that goes and well there's been a bug uh, after the new patch which we talked about that basically caused players voice tones with the sextant applied to them to be deleted uh, deleted from the game when the player logged in so nothing they could do about it and while the voice tones can be recovered by talking to Kirak uh, the sextants were lost which is really really annoying obviously so uh, GGG is going to try to use the logs to determine which sextant were attached to the deleted voice tones and hopefully uh, recover those for the players that actually got them deleted so yeah kind of a big bug there but I mean uh, probably didn't kill anyone and um, they're, they're trying to fix it so hopefully they'll be able to get that done really quickly as well and last in the list but definitely not the least in the importance uh, well we got some news for consoles where I mean consoles are always lagging behind uh, in updates and that is because platform specific certification requirements where basically GGG has to certify uh, everything they do I mean to go on to Xbox and that kind of things this is why it's been delayed but uh, both the gem and flask tab should arrive soon in the shop Kirx Vault Pass as well also a lot of bug fixes and some other stuff so definitely something coming for console players as well and uh, it's nice that GG also communicates to console players even though I mean the site feels very outdated right now but still, communication, uh, some communication, I guess, is much better than no communication at all. And yeah, I guess that was all for this week, so if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment down below. Also, if you want to remain updated every week, be sure to subscribe to my channel. That was all, I've been your host Giorgio, and I'll see you guys the next time.